reading, writing, arithmetic. You've heard it, right? The three R's of education. And today we are focusing on the latter of that trio. We are talking about math with middle school math teacher Katie Castle. And we're really talking, Katie, about the fact that math is everywhere, isn't it? Absolutely. And that's, I mean, that's why we teach math. Um, I think we tend to remember those scary math moments when we were growing up and we forget that we use math all day long, every day. You did a really cool kind of lesson today with the kids, cooking shows. Tell me kind of how that related to math, how you, how you did that. Absolutely, so we're talking about fractions. That was our first unit of sixth grade math and the kids are really wondering why we have to learn this. And so we talked about, well, where do you see fractions? And of course they mentioned pizzas, they mentioned splitting a sandwich with their sibling, and then a lot of them mentioned cooking with their parents or when they watch cooking shows. So the project we did today was they had written a script of a cooking show and each ingredient had to have a certain fractional amount and that was based off of a fractional problem that they created. We used iMovie and each of the kids have an iPad so they were able to use that resource. Um, they edit all their clips together into a video and then we'll have a day next week where we watch all the cooking shows. We'll evaluate the math together but then also talk about well how does this show that math really is useful out in the real world, not just in our classroom. We came up with two halves plus four fourths, and we had to find the least common denominator, which was four. How important do you think it is for parents to, and I mean, this probably goes for any subject, but we'll talk about math in this, for parents to really involve their kids in daily life with learning outside the classroom? Yeah, I think it's so important. Um, I think with reading, that happens a lot. Parents often read with their kids before bed. Um, I think math sometimes doesn't get that kind of attention when it would be so simple to talk about math when you're sitting at the dinner table at a restaurant. How much should we tip the waitress? When you're talking about how much should the total be if you look at two items of clothing that you're buying? If there's a sale, what was the percentage off? Well, what do you think it would be? Make an estimate. But it doesn't stop there. Katie does other exercises throughout the year, like a March Mathness activity that connects math to sports and creating a family budget based on an actual salary. Once they've made their budget and they've talked about how much they're going to make and how much they've spent, they adopt what we call the egg baby. So each of them get an egg. Um, they build a home for their egg baby, which for me is a huge problem solving experience. They have to think about how they're going to get their egg from class to class without it cracking. Um, and their goal is to keep this egg alive for a week. And we're using budgeting, we're using how much are we going to pay for diapers, and so we kind of make it fun at the end when they get to adopt this egg baby. Just talking about Academy's overall mission, mm -hmm. do you kind of see where they're going with math and trying to make it more important for the kids and make it a part of their everyday life? Yeah, I think a big push right now is to increase our the critical thinking skills and the problem solving skills of our students and including real life application with that is kind of what brings the whole picture together. Um, it's beyond just can I do number 35 in the textbook. Academy's really pushing out of that and hoping to get the kids to say, wow, not only can I solve this problem with math, but I can tell you why it's important. And why it's important to Katie goes beyond the classroom too, hoping her passion inspires all those around her. I just hope to be someone in the kids' lives that can show them that, that really this is something that is going to be useful to you forever and we can have a lot of fun with it. If you'd like to learn more about Columbus Academy, they have some great opportunities coming up in the new year. Academy mornings are designed to provide prospective parents with a look inside active classrooms and a chance to hear from a group of students about their own experiences. On January 10th and 24th, they'll focus on the lower school. That's pre-K through fifth grades. And the sessions on January 17th and 31st will feature the middle and upper schools, which is 6th through 12th. They all start at 9 a.m. and you can RSVP at columbusacademy.org or call that number 614-509-2220.